All right, let's do it. What are, plan, what are your plans for the summer? I know Keenan had mentioned planning a trip uh, to go throw somewhere. Yeah, so uh, when I first got drafted, Keenan and I were thinking of doing something, obviously, around this time. So, yeah, we'll we'll be uh, all of us getting together. Uh, we actually were all texting last night in a group chat trying to figure out, you know, where exactly we want to be in, um, you know, in the world, things like that, uh, where we're going to be throwing and, and working out and, you know, bonding and things like that. Um, and it's not, you know, the plan is to not also just be, you know, the offensive guys, but also have, you know, the defensive guys out there, us working on techniques and things like that together, bonding, enjoying each other and, and, and going from there. What part of the world would be your preference? Uh, obviously U.S., but, um, okay. uh, but I don't know, Florida or Cali somewhere, um, you know, get good weather. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty familiar with both places. What do you feel like you've accomplished in this offseason program since rookie minicamp on to this point? Yeah, I would say the biggest thing that I accomplished was one, building a connection with my teammates um, and those relationships where they're hanging out, you know, going to Top Golf, you know, playing versus Cole and, and Brett and them, or, um, or also just, you know, hanging out with the, the you know, the, the rooks and, and us going to movies or hanging out, going to dinners and things like that. But also, you know, being in here, laughing and joking, being in the locker room, you know, you don't, you know, I had, from November 18th to April 25th, I've not been on the team. Um, and so you you realize how much you, you miss it and been in the locker room in those small moments. So making sure we take advantage of that. So I would say that's that's one of the biggest. And then also um, just, just gaining and building more confidence and trust, you know, throughout, you know, you know the Bears and, and, and you know, everybody here, but also, um, you know, myself within the offense, um, building that, that, you know, that belief, that trust, that, um, you know, that confidence, swagger to go out there and, 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 and play. You mentioned the word connection, and it's been clear that you've been very intentional about that part of things as a leader of this football team. Why does that mean what it means to you? Yeah, it means it means the world um, because I've been in situations where we go seven five, uh, whether it's college. I've been in situations where we go to championship, lose. I've been in situations where I won a championship. I've been in situations where we go to championship and lose. And you know, the biggest thing every time you hear. Um, and listen, I was just watching Matthew Stafford's Super Bowl. Um, and, you know, the sound pieces from that is, you know, they go around and they all say, I love you, brother. I love you, this and that. Everything's, you know, everything's about the bond and trust that you build uh, between each other. Because then you go out there and you play um, with, a, with a different level of, um, you know, kind of your mentality is different. Everything's different when you're out there playing for each other and, you know, not out there playing for yourself. So the connection to be able to build a bond between not just 11 on the field, um, but the, the next 11 that comes on the field, which is the defense and the next 11, um, and then all the other guys, the 53, um, and everybody's treated with respect and love and care, um, but also, you know, pushing each other to be at our, be at our best. So, um, you know, that's that's where the, the connection comes from because um, you can't build something, you know, pretty special um, at the end of the year without that bond, love, and trust for, you know, your brothers. When, when was it When was it in your journey that you realized that that was, that was part of this? Yeah, it was, I would probably say high school. Um, it, was, it, was, it was something that, you know, my, my high school coach really, you know, pushed us, you know, to, to be a part of and really believe in and trust. And um, I've taken those with me, um, the, the little small things, that, you know, pieces that he's given me, and I've tried to uh, implement it in any, any way possible throughout my years of, of playing, you know, being around my teammates, working hard, pushing each other. But um, the, the togetherness, um, the trust um, has, was, was, you know, the things that stuck out the most um, in those teams and differences between the teams. Rome has said at rookie camp that, you know, being on the same trajectory with you to learn this offense, to learn how to be an NFL player was something he was really looking forward to. What has that looked like the first month of you guys being here? And where do you, where do you leave off now going to training camp? Yeah, we leave off in a pretty good spot. You know, we had, you know, Rome and I, um, you know, we started building a connection early on because uh, we also knew that there was a possibility us, for us to be on the same team and, you know, build this thing together. So, um, you know, building that trust, like I, like I was just speaking about, building that trust and bond uh, from there so that we both can push each other. Um, and, you know, when it's time to laugh and joke, it's time to laugh and joke. But, you know, when we're out there on the field, whether we're in the film room, um, ITC, on the field, um, game days, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, it's it's time to build um, on that aspect of, 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 you know, our connection and relationship. So, um, you know, it's it's been a, a pleasure, um, a joy. Like I said, you know, what, two, three months ago now, I don't know how many days it's been. But when we got drafted here that, you know, I've, I've seen him work, um, you know, actually on game day. Um, but to be able to, you know, be alongside him now and, and work together is, 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 a, is a pleasure. Caleb, 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 even in this rudimentary stage of offensive development, have you seen any signs 
that this offense will be will be anything more than a work in progress once the bell rings in September? And is there, you know, do you see signs of getting traction early as opposed to just, well, we're still working, still, you know? Yeah, um, whether it's it's game one, game 18, game 21, whatever the case may be, there's always a work in progress. Um, you know, that's the reason why, you know, you may win, you know, play really, really well one week and then the next week, you don't you don't play as well. So it's always a work in progress. Um, and, and, you know, the progress, you know, always shows in the work that you have before the season, but also throughout the season. So um, there's, there'll definitely be, you know, times where, you know, we feel this traction like right now. We feel we feel great. Um, and that's really all I can speak on um, at, at this point because um, I haven't gotten to, uh, you know, week one of, of preseason or, or week one, you know, first Titans and things like that. So uh, right now, you know, we feel the traction we're enjoying. We also know that right now we're, we're building and, and, and bonding and, you know, believing in each other and, and figuring out what's right, what's wrong, um, so that when we get to the point of, of preseason one or, 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 you know, regular season one, that, you know, we're ready to go um, to our best of our ability. Caleb, with, with Rome, the, a lot of the conversation around Rome is, oh, well, he's got time, there's older receivers here he can learn from. What do you sense from him in terms of ambition? Yeah, um, the guy wants to play, you know, who wants to – who, you know, as a competitor, um, as a player, um, been in this position, his position, you know, you have great guys around you. You have all these things around you, tools, coach, great coaches um, and, and great facilities, all these other things. Um, why would you want to necessarily wait um, and, and things like that? You can grow throughout. You can learn from other people's mistakes. And so, you know, that's I, I believe that's been his mindset is, you know, I'm going to play. I'm going to be on the field, but I'm also going to you know take in and soak in. Um, all that I can from, you know, the guys like Keenan that's been doing it for 12, 13 years, that old guy, you know. So, um, you know, it's, it's you know, his 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 pace is smooth. His pace, um, you know, trying to learn is everything is, is, is being smooth just like Rome is. And, um, you know, but he also understands that it's a, you know, it's time is now. Um, and you got to keep working, got to keep growing through all the, the growing pains and things like that, the bad days, the good days. And so um, I think that's his mindset. Caleb, Caleb, the Caleb, you, there was a, there about, was a, oh, about uh, developing your relationship with Shane Waldron and what have you taken away from working with him so far? Yeah, it's been great. Um, we've, we've been growing together, um, figuring out what works best for us. Um, you know, whether it's actually out there on the, on the field and, you know, how we're going to communicate, whether I'm actually on the field, whether I'm on the sideline, um, I'm always asking questions. Um, trying to grow from, you know, the, the guy that's going to be calling the place for me, helping, you know, helping a scheme and, um, things like that. So, um, that's one of the most, if not the most important relationship, um, you know, on the coaching staff and, and throughout this team, um, you know, for me, um, to have is, is, is my OC and us being on the same page, um, throughout, you know, this process, um, and growing and learning from that, but also when we get to season, um, is, is keep growing and, and, and processing, you know, the same way that he does so that we're on the same page. So when it's third down on a big game and, you know, I got to flip the protection. I got to do this and that. We've we've been through these, you know, these situations um, to to be able to do that, and we're on the same page so that we can go and you know win big ball games. I know you talk about the trip with your teammates, but from a football standpoint, what will you personally do or work on over the next couple of weeks? Or are you someone that's like, okay, I'll come back to that? Like, what from a football standpoint will you focus on? Yeah, for a football standpoint, um, there's always there's always time. Um, you know, when it's work time, when it's rest time, when it's family time, when it's this and that. Um, and you set a you set a plan, you set a routine before it happens, so that you're not in the process trying to figure out, you know, all what's going to happen. You know, what day am I going to come back to work? What day am I going to start working? What day am I going to do this and that? Um, so, so you you set all that in, in place, um, and then you stick to it. Um, that's the the biggest thing for off season. Um, from from what I've gotten from the older guys is, you know, set a plan, go with it, um, stick to it, and, and go from there. So, uh, for me, it would be it would be I'm going over, you know, rewriting my notebook, um, you know, making it a little bit more. Um, pretty, I would say. Um, it's a little scramble right now, just because obviously the days. Um, but I would say, I would say for that is 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 finding my my work and my rest. Um, you know, and 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 sticking to that. Um, I've, I've set my plan. Uh, but sticking to that plan that I've set uh, with my coaches, um, with 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 the guys we're going to be working out with, uh, with my you know my people that I'll be working out with, um, and things like that. And then from there, um, you know, get ready to to build and grow and get back here. Um, in, in July. What do you do to get away when, I mean, are you the kind of guy, can you just forget about football for a couple of days? No, nah, you can't. It's, you know, it's hard to forget about, you know, football for a couple of days. Um, but to, to, to take the workload off, um, having days where, you know, this day you're going to, you're going to go over this for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, and then from there, the rest of your day, you're just, 
you know, you feel you feel OK because you you did what you said you're going to do. You stuck to the plan um, and you're like, OK, I did this. I can go on my, you know, about my day, um, go through the process of that day. And then the next day, maybe tomorrow's the actual day that you get off and you don't do anything. Or maybe it's a workout day. No, no, no mental work. So it's just, you know, having that plan, like I said, and sticking to it um, and, and, you know, feel confident and, and belief in, in your plan, your schedule that you set and go with it. Because um, a lot of times the biggest thing for, for quarterbacks, especially, is confidence and believing in, in, in you know, the plan, um, whether it's actual game day, off season, whatever the case may be. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a good summer. Good